a lot of people still remember and talk about Hal Holbrook's impersonation of Mark Twain. Yes. And, and uh, what's his name? I forget uh, who did Harry Truman. Yeah. Uh, uh, Whitmore. 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 James Whitmore. All right. We'll but uh, yes. Well, we'll think about this. But uh, this is interesting. I've never seen a sports figure like that. In not, not a sports figure, and I've never really known a great deal about this sports figure. This is just a small piece because we just don't have the time. But it gives us a little flavor of what he was all about. Christy Mathewson was a phenomenal Hall of Fame pitcher for the New York Giants from 1900 to 1916. In his career, he won 373 games. In one stretch, he won 20 or more games 12 years in a row and 30 games three years in a row. Christy Mathewson was also a war hero in World War I. He died at the age of 45 of tuberculosis. But the spirit of Christy Mathewson has come back to life. He was just a ball player then. Eddie Frierson is a Nashville native who pitched Hillwood High to the state championship in 1977. He went on to pitch at UCLA and is now a high school baseball coach and an actor from Santa Monica, California. A little over a year ago, looking for a vehicle for his acting talent, he began researching the life of Christy Mathewson, traveling back to his hometown in Factoryville, Pennsylvania. The more he searched, the more intrigued he became. And soon, Christy Mathewson came back to life in a one-man show that has been accepted by baseball purists and the family of Christy. Frierson has been featured on ESPN Sports Talk and has come to believe that Christy Mathewson is one of the most unique individuals that baseball has ever seen. Everything that he did, he did well. Uh, he dabbled in the stock market, market. He sold uh, some insurance for a while. He co-authored a Broadway play. He acted in a movie. He did a winner on the vaudeville circuit. Uh, everything he did, he studied so that he would not be poor at it, even though that wasn't the thing he did best, which was throwing a baseball. But the game was very rowdy, and it wasn't until Christy came into the league and several other college players, he wasn't the first one and he wasn't the only one, but he was the best known. Uh, the New York newspapers actually started to advertise that now the young ladies can actually come to the ballpark and see the college boy play. They don't have to see all the spitting and cussing anymore. The basic foundation for success in sport or life in my opinion, is having confidence in yourself. Uh, so if you lose to someone, there has to be a reason. A uh, bad break or what have you. There has to be a reason why you lost. So I say you always must have an alibi so that you can keep your self-confidence and your dignity can be maintained. But while you must have that alibi, the important thing is, and this is what I stressed all the youngsters I talked to across the country, is keep that alibi to yourself because that's where it truly does belong and lose graciously and out in the open, but to yourself, lose bitterly and learn, because uh, it's important to remember that there really is very little that you can learn from a victory. But you can learn a whole harsh horse cart load full from uh, defeat, and uh, that's where I stand. Interesting fella. At the end of what he was saying, he was becoming Christy at that time. People say he resembles him very closely. The picture seems that his voice is apparently similar to him. He was a baseball pitcher in high school. He says this is as if he feels and he knows what he was meant to do, and he truly respects the man. So and it's quite a spooky almost, too. Like a whole new yeah. generation now can appreciate Christy. Let me say this. Two things. One, he's at the airport. Bye. So long, Eddie. <laughs> he's watching a little TV there, heading off on a plane. The other thing is he was named high school Baseball Coach of the Year in California this really? season, Eddie Frierson. So that's a double life. So his message really comes from the heart. Comes too. from the heart. He says he's adopted. He truly feels what Christy was about. Kind of neat. Okay. Right. Thanks, Reed. We'll be right back.